All right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is DFree, and for today's video, we're going to be doing some matches with Androids 13, 14, and 15. Stay tuned because I think I'll be revisiting uh, some of the ones that are not on this team, like the trucker hat Android 13. I remember when he was new, and people would do like videos like try not to lose his hat. Excuse me, because if you get hit once, the hat falls off and stuff like that. I don't think I'll go that far, but I definitely do want to revisit him. There are still a lot of videos that I've been doing kind of recording and just kind of sitting on. So stay tuned for those because they're going to get uploaded in time. But I wanted to do this one because it took place like oh, almost a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to get this one out there. Uh, so this is the team that I wound up using in the video. Obviously, they had equips throughout the match. So um, I'll talk a little bit about it throughout the matches that you guys will see. But obviously, these characters aren't particularly great. Uh, so in terms of this, though, I will say uh, with the Android 13, they actually, I, I don't know if they still do, but I believe that they all at the time of the, the video had Z tier boost or S tier boost to a degree. So we have Z tier on him, uh, the purple one. We had, yeah, see, the tiers have changed. The tiers have changed. I think at the time of the recording, they were all zero S. Uh, this guy might not have been, but the the red one was definitely highly tiered, and I'm not seeing him anywhere. Where, where the hell did he go? <laughs> where, where is this dude? Oh, he's in featured now, isn't he? Yeah, okay. So he's getting featured. Yeah, but they were all, like, right here. Anyways, whatever. It is what it is. So he might actually gotten shift to featured after he got his Unkai, now that I think about it, but neither here nor there. So the way those boosts work is as follows. Same episode characters. So we need Slagus and Movies characters. Uh, so that's why we're running a, a Movies team. We do have Zenkai boosts on all of them. Technically, Red has his own. So there's that. Um, obviously, very old, bad, outdated characters that are not going to be particularly useful. But I, I've been enjoying going uh, abstract with these videos. This guy has cover cut and he has some damage and then cost down, which is not bad, but needs key at least added there. Speaking of key, he does reload, draws four new cards, gets key, not bad. Needs some damage for himself there. Very old, again, not having some of these utility uh, effects. He does draw a green card when this character is the battlefield twice and has immunity. So good stuff there, but again, no individual stat increases. He just has cover cut basically. <laughs> So that's what we're working with here, guys. His green is, is okay. Uh, you need to use it three times, and then it starts doing these buffs and debuffs. But obviously, those debuffs can be cleansed. Your buffs can be canceled. So again, not particularly great, but it is what it is. I'll use it when I can. The best thing in his kit is probably the paralysis that he has there. 50% chance on the major explode damage blue card. This guy is the newest character, technically, outside of the Zenkai coming to 13. But this guy's the newest character here. Uh, he came out around the time that EX Boo and Android 21 came out. And he has uh, some pretty interesting stuff here. He gets extra damage. He also gets the buffs based on having an Android or Blue character on the team. And he gets a draw speed and cut there. And he also, when he switches out to an Android or Blue character, heals and gives damage. The damage can't be stacked, but the heal is non-restricted. So he'll heal by 5% every time. Unlike some characters that'll heal by like 10% three times or whatever. His green also draws a strike card, not bad. And then he has a dash forward blue that reduces strike card cost. But the best thing in his kit is the sub count down here and extra damage for allies as well. But no, it's just for himself. But the sub count down here, crazy. One of the best mechanics you can have really in the game. So we have some utility uh, with this guy, obviously. We have some utility on the team uh, with the effects that we have, but we're gonna run into some walls. We're just, just <laughs> running into some very powerful characters that's gonna be hard to deal with. So we're gonna put a lot of faith in this dude uh, and see if he can carry us through. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like goes 1200 and here we go, guys. So I thought this was an interesting idea. Uh, Shallot is a character you don't see very often in PvP. In fact, I say this all the time, but it's true. The last time I saw him in any match or any capacity was when I used him myself uh, a couple of months ago or so. So if I remember to, I'll leave that, that video down below so you guys can check it out. I believe he had an S tier boost in PvP, which is actually pretty solid. Now, that was before the boost system changed where you would include characters from the same episode. I think with him, if that were the case, if he's still in S tier, you'd have to use him alongside, what, Game Original or something like that? So, yeah, that being said, he actually had a nice little boost of, like, 30% of stats and didn't look too bad. Shallot does obviously need a kit upgrade. Uh, there are various changes that need to be made to him, like, allowing him to at least be somewhat useful pre-transformation. At least just let him... Like, he's so bad, so outdated, even by hero character standards, because the last few that we got are way better than him. Like, at least let him have some defense or something so he's not garbage. Because <laughs> if you throw him out there, you are stuck. Ah, oh, damn, it's like that. 
I went through this whole match. <laughs> and I did not even notice that bro DC'd. Damn, it's like that. I would have played so differently had I noticed dude DC. Now watching the footage, I can see it. <laughs> but in the moment, I didn't see it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is awkward. I'm gonna go ahead and cut from here. <laughs> Because there was actually another three minutes in this fight. <laughs> Dude, if I knew it was a bot, I would have just played normally the way you play against bots to rip through them pretty quickly. <laughs> but I didn't, I had no idea. All right, we'll be back, guys. <laughs> so that out of the way, this time around we have a match versus a couple of the better characters in the game. And then there's an also who's... One of the better Zenkais has come out of late. So, anyways, we go ahead and start here. So, when it comes down to it, I mean, it's a... Okay, we get the stop clock there. It's a tricky matchup to be trying to use these characters. For obvious reasons, they're not particularly good. Uh, it, it's it's kind of hard to maneuver with them. They have literally no utility. The only one that does is this guy with his knockback and stuff like that. He's not bad. But the other two are so outdated, right? But anyways... Uh, one thing I want to kind of try to set up is when it comes down to uh, 15. That's the one with the hat, right? 15, I believe. Um, I want to use his greens as much as possible because it actually has that little cool little stop clock, visual stop clock type thing that's going on, like with Raditz's scouter. I like that a lot, if I recall correctly anyway. Uh, but other than that, we want to use it to uh, get the extra buffs. And as you see, he gets them pretty regularly. So that's nice. The buffs that you get, albeit, are pretty outdated, but it's nice. Also, uh, a, a dark horse thing to do with him, we'll find out right now. Yeah, I did. Um, a dark horse thing with him and those greens is that they can be supplied to the other characters, and more notably, uh, Android 13, who I'm pretty sure post Zenkai gets vanish removal on the green card. So things like that are options and are available to us. We get a knockback, pretty nice. Um, also, in the case of 15, he does have support, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> I think it's just card cost down, which is like not bad inherently, but not particularly good by itself. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, we get priority for like the first time ever. A couple strike hits, not bad. This guy is designed in a way where he needs to stay out here as long as possible. Like I said, using that green for the vanish is pretty nice. Yeah, but he's designed in a way where he needs to uh, stay out as long as possible, which is sometimes a little bit tough to do. If I get a faint, that would go a long way towards doing that. Nope, but the gauge was full. That, that's why that was a really nice change. And I'm glad I switched out. <laughs> but yeah, that's why that was a really nice change. He did need something like that that would allow for him to try to stay out there longer. Now, I haven't mentioned much of 14 because he's about to switch in. He hasn't actually really been uh, usable too much. But 14 is a character that came out around, around the time that EX Fat Boo came out, the blue one. Um, and then also, like, Android 21, purple, the first time she came out. Well, initially as opposed to the Zenkai. So one thing that I thought back then, and I did a video on it, uh, was that they were actually made to be ran together in a blue-blue-purple <laughs> setting. Because the the way that their kits work, they synergized so well. I, I believe uh, Fat Blue gave crit bonuses and stuff like that. This guy gave a lot of like strike and stuff like that. There's sub count manipulation, and then she, uh, 21, reduces her own sub count as well naturally. So like, they work really well. Now, as it pertains to this video, uh, those same things can be useful in a way on this same team setup, etc. cetera. Uh, but obviously more so with the stronger character on my team than with this guy who's almost a little bit more paperweight. I want to give him some, some love, but kind of is what it is. Oh, did I mention that they all have high tier boosts? They're all like S and Z, I believe. So that was a weird one. I think it lagged there for a second. But yeah, they're all like S or Z. So they all have high tier boosts. They're all also getting the uh, additional part that they added in for the boost mechanic. So it is what it is. Anyways, right now, uh, the, the main thing I'm doing right now is just, just dispersing the damage. I've got to make sure that I keep as many characters alive as long as possible. Get that there. You get the rush. Yeah, see, there is a little bit of lag. That happened last time with Vegeta. So... If this goes through, we get rid of uh, one of the bigger threats. Now, obviously, our best character has type advantage, but in this game, <laughs> I mean, at this point, in this game anyway, 
four years in, I'd argue that uh, type advantage is like not as good of a thing as you would imagine anymore because characters just do so much damage and have so much utility and combo for so long. I'm looking at you, Kaioken. <laughs> uh, but it's still obviously extremely important. Anyways. So right now, again, just dispersing that. But again, another thing too is uh, the constant healing. The constant healing from the switches from 14 too. This is why I said like, I really thought he, Majin Buu, and 21 were made for each other. Like the way that their kits work, the same colors and all that stuff. Pre-leader skill, obviously. Like it worked out pretty well. But the constant healing and buffs are more or less what we're trying to do. I'm trying to cycle these 14 and 15s as many times as possible while dispersing the damage. I gave him a slight tap punch chain there. I didn't finish it and it did work out the way I wanted. But like, I'm not able to, this is a 1v3 and they're extremely good as 1v3 uh, opponents or characters because they can heal so much. But I can't, I can't take this over. I can't extend, you know, I'm, I'm at the end of this uh, and, and I'm just kind of stuck. So anyways, one second, uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up here. So as you see, I can't, I can't, I can't push it over. I am definitely struggling. <laughs> and I'm also at that point, like with the sidestep, I'm getting in my own head a little bit. That healing is so valuable. I, like this is 160,000 on the switch that we got. Anyways, uh, I'm in my own head a little bit, right? Because I'm looking at it like, dude, they're healing too. I like, just never ending combo. We don't do enough damage. The only one that can is this guy. He has the strike draws, but obviously we use them all up. So if he's not using strikes, look how little damage he's doing with the entire team predicated to him all the different buffs that would that are active right now and it's like i'm i'm considering in my head am i better off letting one of these other androids just die at this point so i can get more bonuses because now we're picking up a little bit but because like we're starting to approach timer things like that and uh you know i would i would just lose <laughs> got lucky there and that was the conclusion but if you take anything away from that match take away two things the tag character is very good and secondly it's actually really, really tough uh, with some of these characters, no matter how many buffs they have, equips they have, whatever, just because the kits are so old and outdated, it's tough to kind of really uh, excel in some of these matches. All right, so when it came down to this match, I looked at the team and I was like, the three that he brought in specifically, I was like, man, I don't think we're gonna win this one. <laughs> but I like to I like to try to leave these matches in the video as much as I can. Not every match I ever play is in these videos, but I like to try to leave them in because I like to try to give you that sense of how realistic it is. You know, I, I myself and other content creators can make these characters look way better than they, they, they are, right, in our videos. And that's not to be misleading or anything like that, at least I know from my perspective. I like to try to mix it up and I don't like using the same meta stuff. I, I fell out of that a long time ago. But what I like to do is I try to, uh, you know, give my best shot. So we'll see what we can do. We're gonna try to win, obviously, but looking at that team, I was like, oh boy. <laughs> if I don't get every single thing to go my way, <laughs> we're not winning this match. I'm talking, we gotta get the rush, we gotta get the perfects, we gotta get the stop clocks, we gotta get everything, or we're not winning this match. So, so far though, so good. So far, so good. But yeah, this, I, I, be I believe I was just talking about it. This will be a classic example of uh, good characters versus just flat out bad characters. <laughs> it is what it is. And uh, we also, unlike, wow, he's using the rush so early. It's not even like it's early. It's, it's not really early. It just feels early. But I was gonna say, it's also not even like we really have a ton of type advantage. Thankfully, I got the guess there. But we do have it in some spots, but not as much as I would like. And this Trunks, with his endurance, and look how little damage I'm doing here. Trunks is, <laughs> I talked about type advantage. It's, it's certainly important. I guess, it, you, you know what it is? It's just that type of advantage doesn't matter to the top like 0.5% of the game. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like just the literal top like five characters in the whole game. Anyways, anyways. Yeah, so we need this to go through. Cause if this doesn't, doesn't go through, we lose. Like I talked about how we probably lose just going in. That's certainly a loss right there. We can't, we cannot have that. Because this Trunks, He's too tanky. We do no damage in general to anybody, especially the Trons. It's just, there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> so now the question is how long can we survive? <laughs>
So nice drop combo. Oh, not drop combo. It was a lag. Okay. I'll, I'll give credit to 13, though. He's been tanking pretty well. He is actually a solid defensive character. I don't think he has actually that much cut. I think they gave him like 20%. But, uh, wow. Now they're nicing a lot. Uh, but I think he has a uh, very high natural defensive stats. Also, on top of getting the Zenkai stat upgrade and stuff like that. Okay, so there's one. We got the dash in sidestep, a patented T3 staple move. Not trying to use a strike, obviously. Deadly Bomba! By the way, if you want to see more Deadly Bombas, check out the videos I've done for that guy. I did a video for him uh, pre Zenkai and post Zenkai in a more natural setting uh, because he had a high tier boost in PvP. Unfortunately, too many things aren't going my way like that. That cannot happen. Unfortunately, I don't get my patented move there because it was late. Thankfully, I get that though, but those seals, <laughs> the seals, they shut me down. So there's not really anything I can do there. The seals was just, it completely shut me down. So now again, how long can we survive is the question. And this one's done. So yeah, that's pretty much an example of good player, good characters, is like the best possible combination good hold on good player good characters good stars if you got all three of those things and just in general in this game you will be successful all three of those things you can still be successful with two out of those things and in some rare cases you'll still be uh you know good with one out of those things i guess two of them kind of go hand in hand like good stars on good characters right you don't have like you know good characters but be bad at the game and have bad stars. That isn't, you know, so maybe you'll still win, but you get the point. Like if you got all three of those things, you're fine. I had two of those things. At least I consider myself to be decent at the game. I have two of those things. Uh, but this guy is certainly not a carry. He's not strong enough, good enough to be a carry. So, all right, we lost that one, um, clearly. <laughs> Let's play the next one. I'm not so sure what the Kakarot Goku is for. I don't believe he's Zenkai buffs, just like red or whatever, but I'm pretty sure it's like red Saiyans, right? Anyways, that being said, we have a match here versus a future team, pretty much, with, uh, I don't know who was in leader slot, but you got double tags, so all that matters. So that Gohan, they all have 2.8, 2.9 million HP, so very high numbers. Uh, so off to a little bit of a laggy start here. He's considering DCing. So this guy didn't, unlike the first opponent. I'm so upset about that. Because that was a six minute match. Dude. <laughs> it's like, dude, I actually really sat there for six minutes. Oh, I, okay. Okay, okay. So let me say this. I think, I think this match actually may stay this way for the, for the majority of it. So like I like to say, it, it's picked up a bit. If it does stay laggy, feel free to put the video on 1.25 times speed. So that way you can stay uh, you know, in touch with it. So if we do go ahead and get the draw speed, drop combo there, because all I have was blasts. This guy, like, I didn't give him enough love or credit. I, I only talked about really the healing and supporting things he does, but he has his own utility. Like, he does have utility in of himself a little bit, like with the draw speed, and, like I said, the support. But more or less, uh, when he came out, if you were to let him get a combo or things like that, he'd be really nice. Uh, I believe he's in my leader slot because his Z ability is also really good. It's 40% to strike attack. Uh, and the downside with this setup is like, again, we're so heavily reliant on the Fusion 13, who is the only, like, as you see, he's like the only character we really can throw out there to take hits and stuff like that. Uh, but to be fair, I do it with this guy a lot. I throw him out there because he does like sub count, or no, not sub count, but uh, card count up, I believe. So I throw him out there, um, but he's like the only character really that can take a hit. So, okay, we do drift out. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use that green before the reload. I thought I'd get another one, but I wanted to kind of get a stop clock there and maybe draw blue, but it doesn't happen. Thank you. He hits me with that. That sucks. But we do get this cover, and I thought I'd get a knockback. For whatever reason, I didn't consider the fact that 17 is green. doesn't allow a knockback, and right now I am sweat. <laughs> I am sweating because this is a very bad match for me. <laughs> and I'm up against some of the best characters in the game with trash <laughs> so you know that wasn't bad he's doing okay damage he hit through gohan like early that was good he did a lot of damage to gohan early i don't know how many stars that gohan was admittedly but he did good damage sub count there very valuable effect to reduce sub count again this guy does have utility he's not terrible like the other guy <laughs> That's why, by the way, that's why I opted to use this one instead of the the sparking version. The sparking version has a weird gimmick slash playstyle 
So uh, where the sparking version of the Android 14, the buff guy, um, he holds double blasts, and he has a similar green to this, the, the purple 15. They have like the same thing, except his is a strike version of it. And what he does is he, on entry, changes all the blasts to strikes, which isn't terrible. Unfortunately, I guess I can't have that happening, which isn't terrible. Look how much they healed! 425,000 just on one switch. Not to, not to factor in the count, the, the fact they're going to heal so much on card draws. Thankfully, I got a perfect. 635 there was pretty good. But, uh, yeah. So, like, the downside is, like, all those blasts in my deck with Fusion 13, I just I couldn't justify it. But if I were using Trucker Hat, he actually is a ranged character, so those would be good with him. Unfortunately, 18 being in means that, you know, my blue isn't effective. I talked about type advantage. Kind of downplay it a little bit, but unless you're a tag character, no, if you're a tag character and you can manipulate double advantage or disadvantage, I guess, uh, then, you know, it's very possible. Lucked into that one, but it wor it's working out, man. We're up against the stupid androids. He's trying to get a perfect. When people play like that, typically you do want to go for that tap shot. Uh, they might get you out of that afterwards, like, a, like, like, you know, like they go quickly and they get you. But uh, if you can evade them like I did, then you, you've got free reign, especially if they can't switch or whatever. But when people are doing that, they're trying to get the perfect, and they just go, just tap shot. You know, it might work, it might not, but it, it, it'll, it's worth a try, right? Um, so yeah, there was a, there was a whole other match for this video that like I didn't get to finish. But uh, I feel like I kind of left this one a little bit short. So uh, I'll try to come back with probably three videos tomorrow to kind of make up for that. And I still have a couple of videos that I recorded that were uh, recorded in the same fashion where they're kind of just in limbo, ready to release. I need to just put them out, put a voiceover over them. But what I'll tell you is, if you guys enjoy this, hit a thumbs up for one. But uh, what I'll tell you is that these are actually very good for me because this is a way where I can put out footage and record matches and stuff without needing to, to directly be at my computer all times. And, you know, that was one thing that was kind of holding me back with my production because I don't I don't have the ability to sit here and do this as much as I would like anymore, like I used to a couple years ago. Um, so yeah, if you guys like it, hit the thumbs ups. It's, it's definitely different. There will still be some live stuff, obviously, obviously, especially when new characters come out. But uh, I've been really enjoying this. I've got like five videos that are already done in this fashion. <laughs> so like I said, I'll be back with like three tomorrow. I ha I also owe somebody a Ultra Goku video. So that one is one that's on the pipeline as well. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see all of you next time, guys.